Xbox revenue. Talk to me. Is, Xbox revenue is up, and Game Pass hits 18 million subscribers. Holy crap! 18 million. <laughs> 18 million. And this is what they came out five years ago, six years ago. I can't even remember now. And I, I remember when it was a huge milestone that they hit a million users, and then they're still going another 18 million. I think all the stuff that they're doing is paying dividends for them. Microsoft posted record profits this quarter, including a massive bump to their Xbox division. Microsoft had earned over $43.1 billion in the quarter alone, which means that they could have purchased Bethesda at least five times in the last quarter alone. Five times. They could have purchased, they could easily purchase EA and Ubisoft. (laughs) They can do whatever they want. It feels they could. They have the money to become a monopoly. I don't recommend it, but they could. Um, gaming hardware segment uh, for Microsoft grew eighty six percent, mostly thanks to the new consoles. No right. actual numbers were shared, though, so we still don't know how many Series X, Series Slims were sold. And the uh, the gaming revenue, as I said earlier, was up fifty one percent. Um, I believe I said that. yeah. Gaming hardware segment. Oh, yeah, I did already say that. Um, Xbox content and service is up 40%. So games and services are up 40%. And right. Xbox Game Pass now has 18 million subscribers. And that was announced during a conference call uh, with Microsoft's CEO. Microsoft's. Not not X, not Phil Spencer. This is, we're talking head honcho, the new Bill Gates, the guy that's the CEO. The big of, boys. Uh, of, of the entire company. Because Xbox... Let's be realistic. Xbox, with the Xbox is a small, tiny little division of Microsoft. Okay, but Microsoft's obvious, or Xbox is obviously bringing in loads of money. Eh, look at game, look at Game Pass alone. Yeah, if I mean, all like, eighteen if, million if subscribers, is, if all eighteen see. million subscribers were the people that jumped into Game Pass with the one dollar subscription, it's still eighteen dollars a month. You know. So they, they they get close to maybe a hundred million oh. in a quarter. That's oh, if geez. that's if all eighteen million were one dollar purchases. But they're not. People like me, people like Arika Suavo, I've purchased three you know, I purchased three separate three month subscriptions for twenty twenty four or twenty five bucks a month or twenty five bucks each. And they, they each came with a free extra month. So I got a full year of Game Pass for like seventy five dollars. You know, fifteen yeah. dollars more than I would pay for a, a yearly subscription to uh, Xbox Gold, and that was over Black Friday. So I have a full year. I can next Black Friday <laughs> just load up on some more, and I'm set, baby. It doesn't even right. matter. Not to mention, I already had like four months on, on there before I even purchased those. And so, I mean, let's let's just assume. I mean, what's the math on this? You know, eighteen million subscribers at at the base, not even counting Xbox Game uh, Game Pass Ultimate. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents for eighteen million subscribers per month. You're looking at close to a hundred million a month, right? Or not, not, not close to a hundred million. Over a hundred million a month. One hundred seventy nine. One hundred seventy nine million. million a month, and how, you know what? There's four months in a quarter, uh, presumably. Right, at almost one hundred eighty million, right there. Yeah, times that by what three or four? I don't know how many months they have in their quarter. I think every company has like their own fiscal quarters and stuff. I would assume well, a quarter. Let's four call months. it three. Let's just let's, let's just call, call it three. Small. Let's make it you know try to keep it the low number. If, uh, this is half a billion. Half a billion dollars. Wow. Five hundred thirty-nine on... million. That's on Game Pass. Of course, Plus. we get, you got to take into consideration all the money they spend. They're they're obviously paying EA they're to be a part of Game Pass. They're sure, obviously they're obviously paying a lot of money to get their ads out, of course. And not and not to mention they have to pay the developers to let their games be on Game Pass. Right. Of Those course. developers are not just saying, Hey, you guys can go ahead and make half a billion a quarter uh, uh on our games for no cost. They obviously have to pay these companies. So so they're obviously spending a lot of money, so who knows how much money they're actually making from Game Pass. But the fact that the trillion dollar Microsoft company bigwigs are recognizing how important, like, I mean, that And these are well potentially for... the same people that at one point were considering selling Xbox, getting it out of Microsoft's hands. So I'm just saying, getting rid of Don Matrick and bringing Phil Spencer in. Phil Spencer is a genius, and Phil we trust. I love Phil. He's uh, he's he's hands down. 
I, I wouldn't say single handedly because obviously he has a team and, and employees that help him out. Oh, but he's I got think a great team. He, he 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 was such he's such a game focused uh, head for Xbox, and he actually cares about gamers and he wants good stuff yeah. for it. And so they're doing so much great stuff. And I, I mean. I just bless him as, as, as Xbox fans, I mean, we're so excited to see the great work that he's doing because Xbox one's launch was so bad because Don Matrick was just like, Hey, if you don't have internet, get the hell out of here. We got an Xbox 360 for you, you know? And then people took that as, okay, I'll just go buy a PlayStation four. Then see ya <laughs> deuces. PlayStation's already kicking your butt. Microsoft has yet to Trouble. beat PlayStation in anything uh, sales wise and, and users wise. But I honestly think Phil Spencer has really turned a lot of this around and the purchase yeah. of Bethesda. I, I just, I'm so excited to be an Xbox fan. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to be a game fan period, but as someone who's been a diehard Xbox fan since 2001, when it came out, it's so nice to see them finally like making progress. And, and, and you know what? PlayStation is probably murdering Xbox right now in sales, like they always do. But the fact that they still seen a fifty one percent increase despite that—that's, I mean, they're still growing. Xbox might be losing the console war, as as all you right. know, we're seeing it. But they're still growing. They're still making money. They can lose all. You know what? I'll be a loser that makes forty billion dollars a month <laughs> or a quarter. Uh, like what? yeah, right here. Please Hello, sign me I'll up. take that. I will yeah, join. I'll right. sign up for that. I mean, no geez. joke. And 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 you're not wrong. I mean, look, they might be losing the console battle, but we know that ultimately they're winning. Well, they're, they're winning. winning the war because they are with Game Pass and every in the direction that they're headed. And of course, with the backing of a trillion dollar company, they're they're solid. I mean, it's it's going to be gradual. But we're going to see mm-hmm. games become more and more digital. We're going to see games become yep. more and more streaming centric. Yep. And Microsoft's already ha- has a huge head start. Microsoft's the Netflix right now, and and you know, oh, and, yeah, in this, in this sure. streaming war because Netflix had a huge head start on Hulu and. Amazon Prime yeah. and all these other companies and CBS and, and all these other huge companies lead. that are jumping on it. Of course, uh, you know these other things are going to catch up to Netflix quick, but I, I but but still, but Netflix has already made so much money that they're able to to be substantial. Like they could lose all their right. TV shows from other, all these other networks, and you'll still have Netflix. People will still but have Netflix solid. They got for their, their own, own TV shows now, now and yeah. they, and they've been putting into their own developments. Yeah, right. I mean that, that that's it. I mean Xbox is the Netflix of gaming at it this is. point hands down and i don't think people might be like oh the consoles aren't going to exist for very much longer that might be true we might see one maybe two more generations of xbox but honestly the more people at switch most, over to can the, i can the, i just bold boldly predict at most at most we're gonna see one to two 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 would be i would say i would i would be surprised you gotta consider it with the, with the console lifespan being roughly 10 years uh, you know, these past couple generations, at least roughly 10 years, a, a generation. Yeah. So we're talking in 20 years, you know, Microsoft's I Mac. one more Xbox. I don't think there's going to be another one. It's going to be a platform. It's already a platform on your, on your PC. Agreed. It's already a platform on your, I mean, your Xbox itself is a platform. Xbox. They're, it's stick. coming to television. They're going to give you a USB stick to shove in your TV and you can play your Xbox games without even owning It'll a console. It'll be Xbox glass. Yeah, right. So I, <laughs> it's crazy, but you know what? I mean, we're talking about all this with Xbox. I think Sony is inevitably going to have to follow suit. They they have to do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, the way the market moves, they're going to have to shift with the market. So it just kind of depends. You have a lot of people out there that are still diehard. I'm going to purchase the physical copies. I like that that new game smell that you get. <laughs> and it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like freaking plastic. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> do we have enough for a speed run here? We do have enough for a speed run that we oh, sure we sure do. Nah. So yeah, we'll go ahead and move on here. But kudos to Microsoft. Congratulations on that. It just makes yeah. me wonder what Sony's numbers are because if Microsoft games alone are up like forty to fifty one percent, PlayStation historically has done better than Microsoft. So I'd be interested to see what what their numbers are. But. Uh, yeah.